you're going into Cleveland uh, like a dude that's like, okay, this is my time to, this is my time to reach my potential. You know, this is somewhere yeah. where I'm trading. This is where, okay, now it's time to average yeah. 20, average all these points. And now I'm about to be the all-star yeah. that I'm supposed to be, right? And yeah. so there's this, there's, I, you know the video, there's this video that comes out of that came out and back and there's you, Boozer, and it's like, what are, how are the Cleveland Cavaliers going to prepare for LeBron James, right? I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in and really just think your team going to really turn around like that. If he come, you know what I'm saying, he can just hop on our bandwagon and hopefully we can do something big. It do sound like y'all talking about LeBron. He could fit in and be a role player at some point, right? Well, you know, it do make it look like that. It, it did. I'm just saying that's what it looked like. Okay, yes. But yeah. um, even if that was the case, I could. were you in that mindset where like, no, nah, it's time for me to, to to be an all-star. It's time for me to do these things. And then LeBron comes. What was the, what was, tell me about the video and what was the true intent of the video when you guys were, I, um, when you I guys were interviewed for, for the that. Cavs. Yeah. I played for the Cavs. Yeah. I went to damn near every LeBron James game <laughs> his senior year. They would. I'm in the stands holding up the the fucking LeBron James sign. Mm -hmm. I'm at his things. I, I went over his house for Thanksgiving and had dinner. I know, dude. I go and hoot with him at St. Vince. I know, dude. Mm -hmm. If anybody want him to come here, it's me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, they they put it out there like that and so forth on, and it's cool. Like LeBron is a good dude. Yeah. I always been a good dude. Always been my guy. Never act funny towards me. Every time I see him, he acts about me, my mom, in the same way I do with him. Yeah. So even when I see that clip, or if anybody just even got it misconstrued, they got a trading card, upper deck card that says with a quote from me saying that, "Oh, LeBron James is gonna be the next Magic Johnson," but they don't never show that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 but you know, with him, it's like. Anybody, they want controversy and they want all that extra stuff, but real ones, no. What, I don't got to sit here and fly to those, be saying it. What, when did y'all, like, in those, in the runs in Akron, when when did, when did you know that that was, that that was something different? Like, oh, I can tell you that. I went to, I remember the first run. I went down there, you know, and uh, when I went there, you know, they give me the guys. You go in the gym, they give me the little side guys, and you know, they keep they look crew. Right. They they crew, they they high school team, they they went to state, damn near four years in a row, one, three of them. Like, they really know how to play with each other and play. So, you know, I get the rest of the guys, you know, they play on my team. I'm going LeBron. I'm going at him. He he, he ain't really stopping me or nothing like that, but it was Something about him, just the way he played, the way they played, and how he orchestrated. And then it was like the last game we was playing, and he was at the top of the key, and he tried to pull me back. And I got all up on it. I, I'm on it. He shot the three. I put my, I passed him. I put my hand on the ball. He adjusted. Cash. And then went in for game. I said, yeah. <laughs> He wanted them. <laughs> so you knew he was different he when you, as, soon, as soon as that happened? Yeah, when that when that, that Pacific play, because my homeboy was there. Because I used to call my homeboys back home. It's like, man, it's this dude named LeBron James. He probably the best high school player I ever seen. No. No, he ain't G. No, he ain't G. He ain't better than you, G. I ain't never seen nobody better. I'm talking about arguing with my own people about me and somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah, this dude is throwing it between his legs, dunking that motherfucker. He's doing everything. Yeah. And yeah, when I, he did that, I finally went to play with him, and Rich Paul introduced me to LeBron. Wasn't Rich Paul the dude with the jerseys? He had the swag and stuff. He was, Rich the, was he the was, dude. Yeah. This was the dude with the jersey. He used to hang out with my best friend like every day at my house down there. Okay. And he had to hook up on jerseys. Like Rich used to, you know, take me every the cool spots where everybody supposed to be. You want to go and buy your throwbacks? Go here. You want to go over here? Go here. He the one put me up on LeBron to go see him and have me at games and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you, did you know of, even Rich Paul was going to be one of them dudes, like one of those no, connected but that's type? why I'm okay. proud. I'm proud of LeBron and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of how they crew, how they took care of each other. All them millionaires over there. Yeah. yeah. Like one thing I say about LeBron, I say this all the time, is like I'm three years in the league. And when this boy walked in that gym, he was way more mature than me. Uh, really, like, like way how so? more mature than me. How so? Just, just the way he carried himself, what he did. Like I'm still wild and straight from the hood, doing ghetto hood stuff, going to spots that I'm supposed to be. 
I'm the third. I'm the highest pick at the time. I'm supposed to carry myself in this league the way he came in that league and carried this. Uh, I mean, he like, from the hood too, right? Like, he was from Akron too, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just a it's a maturity about yourself. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm just saying, like, I still was immature. Mm. I still might throw a tantrum tantrum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Him, he carried this stuff like a professional coming straight out of high school. Like I said, I'm three years in. Yeah, and he's way more mature than me. <laughs> what what was that first game like in Sacramento for y'all? Because I mean, we know we went to the preseason, but that that first game, everybody was watching, and y'all did the they did the commercial about he had to go to Sac early to do the, the Nike commercial. What? But there was just so much anticipation in that Kings game. What was that like for you to be just his teammate and see him going through was, all that? I was hype. I was hype for that game. I was ready to go national TV. I was hype for him. I was hyped for the team, young team. I was hyped for us. You know, we just got the schedules out. We know we're going to be on TV a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? It's like I just went from winning 17 <laughs> out of 82 to we won in the hottest team. So I'm happy about it. And it was one of the worst games I had. But LeBron, he put on the show, mm. like on the show. And that's why I felt like, man, if they would have gave him the ball early. Yeah. Like Paul Sala gave him the ball. We was running like a – we was running Utah offense. Like he was like at the three, right? Wasn't Brian was at the three? We was, running, we was running where, you, where you, you, your four and five is on, on, the, the, on, the, on the free throw yeah. line and all and that. And two, guard, two wings so, on the – two wings, two UCLA wings, cut. That slowed me – he had me at point guard. That slowed me down so much. And it slowed all of us down because it's me, LeBron, and Rick. You can't get out and do nothing in that. You can't get out and run. I can't kick ahead. I got to – Stop and set it up. I got to wait for the big man to run all the way down and then come back to the free throw line. <laughs> but y'all about to get me ripped out here. I can dribble, but damn. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the type. It, they didn't know. Right. Y'all should have just been running. They, y'all should have just been running man, and gunning. Right? Like, we playing the Clippers off it because that was one thing about the Clippers that we did. Like, they used to tell me, man, get out the board, push. Yeah. You push. Don't kick it up, push. Right. We want you to push. And. You know, you got people like LeBron and all that. We would have pushed or Don Nelson was coaching that team or something like that. Yeah. Imagine what he would have did. Yeah.